This is a publicity photograph of the Beatles taken for the release of their first record. This is the end of September 1962. They're not standing with their guitars smiling. They're standing on a bit of urban wasteland. It's the industrial north of England, and that's the image that's being conveyed. They're not smiling. They're just standing there. And back in the late 1980s with a couple of friends, we set out to find where this was taken. And it was taken right by the River Mersey on the dock road coming out of Liverpool on the road up to Bootle, about a mile out of town. And the streets that they're standing on, Saltney Street, and the warehouse in the background is on Dublin Street. When I was researching Tune In, I did deep family history research for all the Beatles, and I found that the Lennons had arrived from Ireland fleeing the terrible potato famine in the mid-1840s, and the first place they lived when they disembarked from the boat from Ireland was Saltney Street. This is what it looked like when the Lennons were living there. These pictures actually taken 1911. They were there 50, 60 years earlier. Truly chronic living conditions. Open sewerage, children in bare feet, infant mortality at an alarmingly high rate. And that's exactly where the Beatles were standing in 1962. And I'm, I'm certain that John Lennon could have had no idea that he was standing where his family had landed because he knew very little about his father's side of the family. So what an extraordinary thing that he's standing right there. And even more extraordinary, three and a half years later, look who else is standing there, Bob Dylan. Now he's not there because the Beatles had stood there. He wouldn't have known that. He's not there because the Lennons had landed there from Ireland. He didn't know that either. He's there with a the photographer, Barry Feinstein, because it was a good place to take some pictures. So how amazing that this one location has three connections like that, where the Lennons landed, where the Beatles stood, and where Bob Dylan stood. <laughs>